it comes to adversity, some people fold at the sight of it, at the sound of it, even. Some people thrive because they know to get something that you never had, you have to do something that you've never done. And in the case of Jairus Hosley for Delaware State, that couldn't be more true. You see, Jairus is a receiver that you should definitely be on the lookout for next year. Jairus is a guy who, I'm going to be honest, good luck, good luck covering this man. Because, see, if, if he was in Madden, his catching traffic would be 99. No, I, I'm just being honest with you. This man's catching traffic would be 99. Nobody could really cover this dude, right? And I'm glad I found him because I want to share him with y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all why he going to take, take the country by storm next year. Be on the lookout for him, right? You might even see the boy on ESPN. So listen, man, Jerish, 5'10", 160 pounds, and he is a junior wide receiver for Delaware State. Now, his story is something that you could really admire, right? He started out at Wesley, Wesley University, for three years. For three years. I think Wesley is Division II, if I'm not mistaken. But the crazy thing about it is they actually shut down before he got an opportunity to sh uh, show what he can do on the field. Because he was there for three years. His first two, he was behind all the guys on the team. And his third year was the COVID season, right? So he gets into the COVID season. Only he's, able, he's only able to play three games in that COVID season. And in that season, in those three games, he had 12 catches for 202 yards, two touchdowns, right? His first game of the three, he went for five catches, 128 yards, and two touchdowns. So it's clear the talent was there. He just really needed the opportunity. And it just it felt like it was just bad timing at the bad timing uh, for him. So after Wesley, you know, after they shut down, when the year in, he didn't know what he was going to do. He didn't know who he was going to play for. He actually thought he was going to have to go back to New Jersey, right, which is his home, to play uh, Division Three football. That's what he thought. But there were two schools who were interested, Delaware State and a school named Shippensburg. Now, Shippensburg offered him a full ride. Delaware State offered him a walk-on spot. But he wanted to be a part of something special at Delaware State. So he chose to forego that full ride that he had at Shippensburg and go to Delaware State, right? Since he's been there, all he did was work, train, got better, uh, you know, perfected his craft and everything like that. And then he finally got his opportunity to start. And when he did, he had a really decent season. Next year, next year is going up. I'm telling you, next year, you are going to see Jerish Hosley step on the scene like you've never seen him before. Because, number one, this man has a chip on his shoulder, right? He is he, Now he's just trying to be the best teammate that he could be, uh, just be the overall the best player he can be. But, man, the skill set on this kid is something amazing. Not, not a kid, because he's a man, clearly. But... The skill set he possesses is crazy. So he runs a 4.5 and he has a 34-inch vertical. But like I said, when you're looking at the video, the man's catching traffic is really something that you wish your receivers had, right? Because a lot of them don't have that. I mean, the focus, the concentration to come down with the football in any situation, this man possesses it. And he can get down that field in a hurry, right? The yak yardage, he can get you that, all right? You... It, it's like he can even write you. He can route you up too. He can route you up too. Don't get don't get me wrong on that. He can definitely route you up. But listen, he's a hard worker, right? And he strives to be the best every day. Jerish Hosley, remember that name. Jerish Hosley for Delaware State. Boy, the Miat got some ballers. I'm telling you, this man is going to pop. He going he going to turn a few heads next season. I'm putting that on wax right now. He gonna change up. You gonna turn a few heads next season, seriously. But y'all ain't gotta believe me. But when you see it, just know CFL is the one who told you first. Like I always do. But you know I ain't gonna brag. Hey, but hey, thank you so much for watching the CFL podcast. Please do me a favor. Go follow my, follow my boy Jerish, right? Because. He's a dope dude, so go follow him on Instagram. I'm going to put that picture up for y'all to see. And um, with that being said, I'm out, man.